Welcome back for a bunker project. Today we're going to build a REAC 04-24, a reusable, easy access cache tube, 4 by 24 inches. Let's talk about materials. You're going to need a pre-cut piece of ABS pipe, 4 inch by 24 inches, a 4 inch ABS knockout inspection cap, a 4 inch test plug, and a small tube of silicone caulk. Optionally, you can use ABS glue, but I found the silicone caulk works great. Another option is when you're all done with the cash tube and ready to put it away and bury it for a rainy day, you can uh, take a three, uh, I'm sorry, 36 inch by eight inch piece of roll vacuum bag material and either use a vacuum seal machine or a clothes iron to seal the bag. The reason I say that is because we're going to want to protect the galvanized wing nut on this test plug. If you don't want to put it in a vacuum bag, the other thing you can do is liberally coat this uh, wing nut with some axle grease, cover it with a plastic bag and seal it down with a zip tie. Now here's the materials. So the four inch ABS pipe, 24 inches long, ABS glue. I actually like the silicone caulk. That works pretty good. A 4 inch knockout inspection cap and a 4 inch test plug that has a rubber seal, totally waterproof. Let me talk to you about why I'm doing this today. Um, I use uh, tubes like this. This is just 4 inch drain pipe with uh, styrene caps and I use them in my shop for storage for tools, materials and I do a lot of vacuum pressing so I store my vacuum pressing bag in a tube like this so it doesn't get damaged. I was thinking you know it'd be kind of fun for my son to uh, bury a cash tube for him and let him dig it up just as a little bit of an adventure and my thoughts are to initially to use this tube which is a, a scrap from one of my shop projects and uh, bury some BBs, air pellets, some CO2 cylinders, perhaps some targets and a little uh, snack up at his uh, favorite shooting spot. We saw that on another video. Matt called it his secret spot number one and I thought the next time we went up there it'd be fun for him to go find this tube and dig it up. Then I thought about it, how am I going to seal that and make it easy to open? And the more I thought about it, the more I came up with um, using ABS pipe and these caps. Now the nice thing about this compared to other cash tubes that I've seen is uh, this allows easy access. You can reuse it real quickly. It's totally waterproof. And with the knockout cap, you have an optional access port. Um, if you have trouble, you can just knock this out with a hammer, a rock, or a large stick. I also find this cap is a little bit less bulky than the big ABS cap at the end. But you could certainly use these types of caps without a problem. Now one other thing I've uh, thought of doing is I vacuum sealed some ammunition and I thought it would be kind of interesting to bury it for about six months open it up and uh, take it out to the range. And so I've made two of these tubes. One will be a tube for Matt for his uh, shooting spot. And the other one, I'm going to bury this ammunition, but I'm going to bury it on my property where I know where it is and no one will get access to it. So I've got some 223, some 9 millimeter some 22 mini mag and some shotgun shells. I've got them in this stocking uh, tube which you can get at any medical supply store that takes care of uh, supplies for chronic wounds and this just makes a nice way to slide this stuff in and out of your uh, cash tube. So I just Spin that down real quick, fold over the excess stocking, slide it in the tube, and put my cap on. But I'm not going to use this tube like I thought. I'm going to use one of the tubes that we're going to build today, the REAC 
04-24, so stick with me. Well, there's not much to building this tube. The ABS is pre-cut. I bought that at the home store just like that. What I did here is I just put the cap in, so I left a gap, and I filled that with caulk, and then I pushed the cap down, wiped off the excess caulk, and that end's done. The other end is real simple. You just put your test cap in and cinch down the wing nut. That makes a watertight seal. You're done. We'll take a look at putting this in a vacuum bag and how to seal that up in a minute. So this particular cache tube is um, 4 by 24 inches and it gives you about 300 cubic inches of storage space. I just want to go over a couple of um, considerations and this will be available as a PDF download. So I'm just going to say right from the beginning just as a disclaimer that this information is for educational purposes only and I assume absolutely no liability for your individual application or use of this information. Use common sense when setting a cache and research any applicable laws in your area that apply to such use of uh, caching. Another thing that's good is to make sure you make good notes, perhaps record some GPS coordinates, make a map and take some photos of your cache location for future retrieval. And the last thing is consider a cache label printed on waterproof paper, attach it to your uh, cache and uh, put some disclo uh, disclosing information about your name, contact information in case it gets found, contents list, and a disclaimer indicating no inclusion of firearms or explosives. This just makes common sense. But I want you guys to uh, maybe perhaps consider this. It's kind of a fun little project. I think my son's going to enjoy digging this up the next time we go shooting. Okay, here's Matt's cache tube. I'm going to open it up so you guys can see what we're going to be digging up later on when he goes shooting. I think it'll be a fun afternoon. So I'm planning on cooking a little snack for him. So there's some fuel for our uh, jet boil, some Nutri-Grain bars, some gourmet hot chocolate. Matt loves hot chocolate. He'll get a kick out of that. And there's some vacuum packed BBs, pellets, and a BB loading tube. Some CO2 cylinders for his pistol. And some targets. Now what kid is not going to get a kick out of digging that up at his favorite shooting site? Okay, I'm getting ready to seal up the uh, tube just for extra security and also just to protect that wing nut from any corrosion when the uh, cache tube is buried. I'm using uh, Rival Seal a Meal. Um, I, I just got these uh, inexpensively on sale, two rolls, eight inch by 20 feet, so 40 feet of eight inch uh, bag material for $7.99, so that's a good deal. And it turns out these eight inch wide bags perfectly fit the four inch tube. All right, stand by for some noise. We're just making the final seal right now before it releases the clamp. Alright, there's the tube all sealed. Sorry for the bump in the camera there. I put a label on the end of the tube that uh, basically identifies it as an adventure cache and it has my contact information as well as the contents of this tube. I also put a sock on the end, doubled over sock, just to cover that uh, wing nut so it doesn't puncture the bag. That just gives you some extra security. So I think Matt's going to get a kick out of digging this up, opening it up at his favorite shooting spot. He'll have some extra supplies and we'll have a nice little cup of hot chocolate together and a snack. I'll make sure I bring the camera and uh, let you guys tag along for that. So hopefully that'll be useful for you guys and um, there's a downloadable PDF uh, instruction uh, sheet on how to put this cache tube together. Thanks for watching guys.